Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review. This movie is a comedy slash drama from Denmark, Danish language English subs, released in the year 2020, directed by Thomas Vinterberg, and this film is called Another Round. So Another Round is about a group of friends who are teachers, and they all have self-esteem issues. So the main character especially, he doesn't feel as though he's a good husband, or a good father, or even a good teacher. And this is down to the fact he feels boring, he feels as though he's very shy, and he can't really come out of his shell. So he's very depressed about this, which is the same with the group of his friends, but then one evening when they're around a table drinking and uh, drowning their sorrows, they come up with an experiment. Now this experiment has been done before and it's said that the consumption of alcohol at a reasonable level can actually enhance your life. And so the group of friends decide that this is a project that they're going to work on. Basically the rules are they can only drink during their working hours and they're going to see how their social interactions go. So this seems like a harmless enough experiment, but unfortunately the consumption of alcohol starts to take over their lives which ultimately starts uh, the crumbling of their worlds. So whether or not they can get a handle on it is something you're going to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on another round. I was very, very excited to see this film. Now Thomas Vinterberg is an absolutely fantastic director. The last film I saw of his was Festen, aka The Celebration, which was a movie made in the 90s. That was an absolutely fantastic experience. I've reviewed that. I gave that five stars. So if you haven't seen that review, please check it out for more details. But so coming into another round, the fact that it was Thomas Vinterberg, and also there was an added element of excitement, because considering the fact that Mads Mikkelsen and Thomas Bo Larsen were also in this movie. And so for all of them to combine, they're legendary aspects of Danish cinema and so to see that they're all teamed together I thought this is going to be something to behold and so massive expectations I always have those expectations based on legendary filmmakers but I was very confident that this movie would not let me down and after watching the film I'm not surprised to say that this is another fantastic movie it's not quite as good as Festen so I thought Festen took on uh, very very taboo subjects but this is equally as brave filmmaking because of the fact it does take on the issue of alcohol and alcohol is something that affects today's society and our consumption of alcohol, our reliance on alcohol and the fact that alcohol can be good when you're on cloud nine but ultimately it's a depressant and the depressant quality of this movie is down to the fact that the alcohol has shaped these people's lives, given them a false sense of security but ultimately you have to face reality sooner or later, that reality is going to come and the longer you rely on that alcohol the harder the fall is going to be. So these friends, these characters, I thought they were all very three dimensional, I could really sympathise for what they were going through. Yeah, they have that lack of self-confidence because it's a very cutthroat world and unfortunately if you feel as though you're being left behind you need something to really enhance that your your good qualities and sometimes it takes alcohol to enhance those good qualities those social interactions you feel as though you're a bit braver and so when these friends have this experiment it's all going very well for them, but you're always thinking to yourself, well, there has to come a time where the reality that they're dodging, they're going to have to face. And so you can only put off your problems for a certain amount of time before they're going to come back. And unfortunately for each and every one of these characters, when they fall, they fall very hard and their problems are magnified and they're risking losing everything. And so the film does show you what alcohol can do to you in a positive way, but it also shows you the very negative effects of alcohol without really dictating what side of the movie is on, whether it's trying to say alcohol is bad or alcohol is good. It's not really doing that. It's just showing you what alcohol can do to people's lives. And so I thought that was really respectful filmmaking. And it was a filmmaking that was very reminiscent of Festin, aka The Celebration. I was taking on very taboo subjects, but doing it in fact in a manner that wasn't making fun of it. Although this movie too is a comedy, I never thought that it was making fun of alcoholics. It was never making fun of society's issue with alcoholism and that binge drinking and everything that we see with alcohol and how alcohol can be an avenue to try and avoid everyday problems. And so I thought that was really, really interesting. And so it's something that was done with a level of maturity and that maturity is emulated through the characters. I thought the characters were very real. I thought the cinematography is almost like a fly on the wall sort of aspect where you're actually getting to know these very interesting people in their lives. And those interesting people were able to expand in a way that I thought was very interesting because of the fact the script was so fantastic. The script was very witty. The script was very matter of fact. Again, these, these people are bantering between each other where I felt as though the chemistry was fantastic. And the performances from Naz Mikkelsen 
and Thomas by Larson as well as the supporting cast was fantastic because of the fact the movie never relies on one particular person to carry the film. Each and every character is as interesting as the last one. You know a little bit more about Mads Mikkelsen's character but the supporting cast, their characters, I never felt like someone was stealing the light from another interesting person. I thought the interest was really shared out in a way that I thought every character on screen I wanted to know more about them. So when the really bad things start to happen I thought it was quite emotional but as and you've got the com comedic aspect that I thought was very very deadpan and this is a way to actually respect the subject matter and that's why Festin works so well is that it has a taboo subject, has a very serious subject but it's not making fun of it through its very deadpan quality of humour. So it's not having slapstick comedy, it's not you know uh, having you know, typical sort of alcoholic moments that you see in other films it's a movie that does have that light alleviating moments but never enough to alleviate yourself into a state of comfort so there's always that level of discomfort so it's a very darkly humorous film but the humor is done in a way that I thought pays a lot of respect to the subject matter it's trying to uh, yeah, depict. I thought the ending was fantastic and again it just really sums up what this film is all about and so again Thomas Vinterberg has delivered another outstanding experience that I think a lot of people need to go out there and see. It does shine a light in today's society and the reliance on alcohol and the the role that alcohol plays in our lives so if it sounds like your kind of thing go out there and see it my only problem is with the wider audience you might not like it because it's not a straight out comedy and if you don't really get into these characters you're going to find it a little bit boring because there's no real theatrics in the movie which is something that I really appreciate about this director his, his ability to maintain your level of concentration and interest without having theatrics thrown in there so it's down to the characters and the way the characters evolve I thought was fascinating so if it sounds like your thing go out there and see it I'm going to give another round four and a half stars Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you there.